Can you guys hear this? I wore a hat when I oh, was I got it. On. I'm not here anymore. Alright, I'm ready. So, Bell versus Drew. This is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, Falco versus Falcon. At uh, the land of the dreams. Green dreams. Green beans. I had great green beans for Thanksgiving. I think that was something we need to talk about. It was like crunchy onions on it and stuff. It was and cheese and some mushrooms. It was it was very good. Well salted. It felt like you just ate a meal after you eat it. It was great. It was delicious. Just similar to this game, where and that thing that Falco just did to Falcon. Um, so milk is down to stock, um, but that's not gonna stop him. Milk will take it all. He's the milkman. He he sees you every what is it? When, when did the milk? What was the day that the milkman would come by? In the 50? Yeah, he'd come by every day. He'd have a smile on his face with white outfit, his white milk truck. He'd come by with a wire mesh kind of basket thing, and he'd have like all these milks in it. And, like there was a cow in the back of his car, and he just straight milk it from there. He'd come up with a smile on your face, and then um. Uh, Drop off the milk at the house, and that's kind of what Mike's gonna be doing here, if Drew lets him. But Drew's getting kind of aggressive in this, this one. But Mike's, Mike's, puts him away. One, two, milk man. Yeah. Oh, all right. Two stocks down on Mike, but Drew still has all his. Not for long if he keeps doing things like that. But no, he's pretty confident. He trusts in his car and he trusts in his Falco. It's just about all you need in life. Does Falco hit you with his tail? His down tilt is his tail though? Wow. The more you know. Oh really? Is that in the game or is that made up for Smash? <laughs> he, he, he... Okay, Mango said that he used metal on his tail. I guess we'll believe that. He's got like this metal like... Does it clink when he does it? Oh. Salty. Saucy, I mean. Yeah. Oh, Mike takes himself out. No? It's back on very successfully. Um I miss Sam being on stream, because I could talk about him. Just kinda rag on him. These are two people. Let's see if let's see if Drew's in the business of winning or if Mike's gonna engineer a victory here. <laughs> 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 This could be a majorly big game. Too many cooks in the kitchen, and the broth is thoroughly spoiled. We haven't referenced that on stream yet. Uh, just, just, you know, collegiate victory. Wow, someone's getting schooled here. That's a bold pen statement by, by Mike. Let's see if, uh... Let's see if Andy can Bloomsburger a victory here. Well, I don't know. It's it's pretty very even right now. I I just add like a a, a little uh, a big helping of relish here just to keep the so cool. Ooh ooh ooh, milky sweet. Huh. The double chest pound. We got deep calm. He, Captain Falcon went deeper there than he's supposed to ever go. He was crew deep. Or squad deep, I'm sorry. Squad deep. So, Mike takes the first victory. Drew did not expect that. Uh, they can't go quite as deep on this stage, but... Matt Deem says Luigi is my homeboy. I don't know how I feel about that. He's got grad school stuff to do. Cause he doesn't need to? Alright, so, uh, more college talk, but that's a, that's impressive work with the Falcon right there, it's very good. Alright, so... Mike is down a little bit here, but what does it even mean? What does it even mean? Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of a different, yeah. It's kind of a different pace of this game than the last one. Oh, mm, that could be very crucial to this outcome of this game. This is a slippery, slidey game, but we're at a slippery, slidey stage. Um, they're waiting to play on stream, like, cause we're going pretty fast here. Winter semis is kind of hanging off the uh, background here. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, okay. So, let's see. You got under 20 damage on Fox in general. It's pretty rough. Drew either gets wrecked. Yeah. Well, luckily for us, Drew flanked, flunked his anger management course. Which, oh, we, we were making fun of him and now he lost, he lost his first stock. But Mike's only got one left and Drew might have just taken care of him. Uh, JV3 on Mike. So that's 1-1. One, one. Mike Drew. So that is Mike's turn to change the tide here. Let's see what what good things can be pulled out here. It seems like Mike needs a very particular game to win. But when he does win, it's kind of clutch. So we're going to have to see something something gets pulled out here. Yeah, I don't know if those are good. We'll find out, yeah. Wait, but the other person can pick it? Like, yeah, yeah. So you can pick on the stage that you lost at. So in case you guys want to go to a stage that you lost at, you can do that. That was good. Can I just hit that real quick? I want a curved one. You know how like they fold over? I don't see any. Are they like Doritos? Kinda. Oh! Mm. No, no, I gotta, I gotta talk. Not that I have anything to say, but no, thank you. Um, so, Mike once again, going Falcon. That final this time. Will knee, hopefully that changes the tide a little bit. But now, Drew takes the first stock off Mike. Drew's showy and angry, Mike's kinda just holding things together, but like, it seems like... Things aren't necessarily falling apart, but they could go more his way than they are right now. But we're alright. Mike's living, he's happy to be here. This is winner semis, if you lose this, you're still a winner. At some point. So... Drew's playing pretty... Pretty smart. They're both playing pretty smart right now. Trying to get the moves that they know will work. What? Oh yeah. Tim's playing Game Watch right now. Beautiful knee. Sorry that I wasn't paying attention enough for it. I'm sure the setup was very nice. When this video is on YouTube, it'll probably look nicer. Um. So I feel like it's an appropriate time to uh, just read another section of Eldest. Um, Drew's on stage. I don't know if you remember how Eldest ended. They um, or Aragon ended. It was there was kind of like a big battle, similar to like Helm's Deep. Um, AKA exactly like Helm's Deep. Um, where the Dragon Rider, the last one, like found this other like cave of people, and then like they fought all these people. It was crazy. Um, anyway, I'd like to give a shout out right now to first off the Eldest fan page. I really hope that that community has been growing while this this tournament has been going on. Um, there's a lot of opportunities and like a lot of jobs that can be made if we if we actually like pull together in this time of need, neglect, and we uh we could make something really good happen. If if you guys would just like the page, that'd be very important. 100% uh, of the proceeds will go into making Brissinger a movie, so just keep that in mind when you support this. Um, anyway, now we're about even, and I'd like to do another shout out, but this one's to Bobby, our uh, our good friend who's over in Easton, just just over there, not far. Um, I I hope he's out there watching this in some way, or shape, or form. Um, yeah, you do get to keep the bucket in between socks. Anyway, um. Uh, I heard that he had an accident on the ice the other day, and, you know, it's like tough when something like that happens because it's really unexpected, and it can kind of mess everything up. So I don't know if you're laid up in here somewhere, having to, uh, watch us instead of 
doing what else you do. I don't know. Do you, do you have a job? Uh, yeah, whatever you do, I hope you're doing okay. Um, and that you're healing quickly, and that this hasn't been putting you at too much of a disadvantage. Mike, with that beautiful knee, 69%. Uh, see if something beautiful can still be pulled out of this one. Uh, because Mike's playing crazy good. Drew's playing crazy good. Uh, on previous commentaries, I've compared a lot of, like, Mike's and Drew's moves to sauces and imagining them on like steak and stuff and Phoebe just gave me another chip and it's awesome thank you very much but Drew takes the victory by this like narrow margin this wasn't on the ground was it? and that wait a minute Oh, it's best of five, I just remembered. Whoops, so I was wondering what he's still thinking about. But, no, they have more to go. So, luckily, two victories for Drew, one victory for Mike. Still, anybody can do it. Winner semis, very hype. This tiger has no tail? Dude, it doesn't have a tail. Wow, that's tailless. Alright, so, same matchup. You guys better be getting used to this. Let's look at Game Watch's damage real quick. 250. Game and Watch lived with 250. Not on stream, but one hit. Oh, with the nest thing, yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice. Ness's bucket countered with Roy. Or no, not not Ness's. Game and Watch's bucket filled with Ness countered with Roy. Is that the most damage you can do in the game? We think it's the most damage you can do in the game. Uh, but anyway, back to this game. Similar matchup, you guys know what to expect. Uh, Drew and Mike playing very consistently here. No one's really slipping up. Other than a few errant side Bs, but... What can you do? Um, Sam, the King of Johns, is complaining that other people are Johnning in a friendly? So, I'm not sure, like, it, it has been, like, down to the wire, like, Winner's Finals and Sam's probably been like, Oh, it's a Tuesday, I can't do too well today. But now he's like, oh, you're playing a friendly with a game and watching a Ness and a Roy. How about no Johns? Not even in jest. Not that this is even a real tournament. Um. Anyway, Mike's down a stock here. Drew is up a stock, obviously. But Mike needs him, puts him into his place. Mike says... Hey, I'm gonna catch up to you, but, oh, no stomp there, um, Drew takes back that stock lead, but Mike, if he wins this victory, we're game, going to game 5, which will be pretty exciting, uh, if we're, if we're already at semis, that feels like we've been moving quite fast here, it's only 2.47 here in, uh, Pennsylvania, um, Not, not a lot of people watching this, there's a lot less hype, but... So it's a little... Yeah, Counter-Strike, definitely. Yeah, Counter-Strike International is going on. What's happening right now? Grand Finals. <laughs> He's not looking at our chat. He, so he has no idea. There's one person. Who, who am I playing next? I think it's like the... Oh, hey Ben. Ben, do you like peach juice? Alright, so still that stock lead with Drew. Both are playing pretty aggressively. But uh, Mike might lose that stock. Yeah, he does right there. Um, so Drew has to take this one stock out to kick Drew out of... Or kick Mike out of winners. And Mike's gotta take these three and then do a home in the game. So things are looking grim, but Mike has looked grim in the face before. Mike needs to just create a lane to get her back in. Oh, but unsuccessful Edgehog by Drew. Sick story of his life being just unsuccessful. Um, a lot of yelling upstairs. Um, so trying to make macaroni. 
You just put the heat it up, it's in a box. Are there? There's spoiled broth upstairs. Honey, I think that's not true. Um, could this be it? Could this be it? No? We live in though? Jumps. Voids. Ooh. Will, mm, mm, let him back, please, please. No, oh, back on the stage, but is he gonna stay? Is he gonna stay? Is he gonna stay? No. Mm, mm, mm. Unsuccessful edge hogging by Drew. They're not keeping Mike off the stage, in fact, giving Mike more opportunities. Land of opportunity, please, please see a knee of some variety. Mm, spicy, the down smash. This is, this is good. What can Drew do to, mm, can do an up air narrowly, not necessarily narrowly, but 